Welcome back to Defense News Weekly. Mine clearance, a dangerous job in the best of times. It's been rendered an absolutely lethal line of work in the age of fleets of cheap, deadly drones over a battlefield. With such a difficult mission for troops, why not let a robot tackle it? At the AUSA annual conference in Washington, D.C., we took a look at one system designed to address the problem, the ARA Sapper, Autonomous Ready Vehicle. Check it out. My name is Matt Fordham. I'm with Applied Research Associates. I'm the Vice President and Division Manager of the Integrated Products Division. This is the Sapper platform. It's a purpose-built minefield robot application capable of doing 40 miles an hour with a 3,000-pound payload. In addition, we have the Mothership UAS capable of flying about 30 minutes with a 30-pound payload and has autonomous UASs on it for purpose-built missions like ISR or kinetic application. In addition to the UAS, we have the ArcherBot platform on here, which is a small marsupial robot capable of traveling about 30 miles an hour with a 300-pound payload, again for purpose-built missions like surveillance and reconnaissance operations. So the platform is for to solve the minefield clearance operations, which includes five things, vegetation clearance, subsurface detection of mines, subsurface clearance, surface clearance, and then once you clear all those obstacles, then you also have to proof it to make sure that it's safe for our, our troops and our equipment to move through. The platform was built uh, with the capability of carrying uh, detection sensors, which includes electromagnetic induction coils for the detection of mines and UXO. Um, we have laser payloads on it, which we can then uh, direct energy onto that miner, that UXO, to render it safe for our troops to move forward with, as well as a modular open system architecture allows a variety of other payloads, like the UAS, the Unmanned Aerial System, or the ground platform that can go off and do specific missions uh, for different operations. The platforms are all controlled through a software package called MPMS, and I can plan the mission for the platform, the ground platform, I can plan the mission for the UAS, and I can plan the mission for the marsupials. What we focus on is the ability of a single operator to plan out mission sets for each of the ground systems and air systems, and then they become a supervisory monitor capability where they're planning the missions and then just looking at the status of the missions. And when in need, the operator can then interject based on some information that's gathered from the robots themselves. So one of the areas that we're really focused on now is the mobility mission and counter-mobility missions for the Army engineers. So that means when we move up on an area that has been defended with uh, Dragon's Teeth, Constantine and Wire, mines, tank dishes, we can deploy this platform to cut through the Constantine and Wire to detect the mines that are in the ground, render them safe through remediation efforts, destroy the dragon seat that are in front of us, and then move on and have the formation move up. We can also electronically mark what lanes have been cleared and provide that to follow on forces so they can safely move through the, the cleared area. But the purpose of the UAS is to say that I'm moving into that area, but I want to hide from the enemy what we're doing. We can launch the UAS, deploy smoke in the area so they can't see the movements, or if we're coming under fire, we may have some kinetic capabilities on the smaller drones that fly to an area and take out the enemy locations. As far as the ground platform goes, the marsupial, we know that a near peer threat environment that our, our assets could be targeted, but with the marsupials, what we can do is deploy the missions to the smaller robots, have them do specific tasks, so it's harder to attack and, and compromise all those assets. And we can also send the smaller robots ahead of the formation to gather information on the, on the site on the area that we're trying to breach or the air assets to give that ISR the surveillance of that area as well. So the crane can deploy and recover this, the platform. Uh, the UAS, the mothership, is a returnable asset. The smaller UASs on there are really meant to be one way. The low cost option that allows them to be deployed as a kind of a, a launch and forget application. It's all about keeping our soldiers safe in this case. So the dull, dirty, dangerous task is what we want to take on and we can do that autonomously and meet the mission set so that we can move our troops through in a safe way afterwards.